Hey everybody, the Bong is here, ready to give you a brand new Let's Play! Spyro Enter the Dragonfly for the Nintendo GameCube, and this is brought to you by GameAnyone.com. I played this game for the first time maybe a handful of years ago when I saw it at a game store, and saw it for like $14.99 plus tax previously played. And I figure, you know what, why not give it a try, because I did try all the Spyro games before it. It's a decent game! Unfortunately, I hear on the GameCube version, and maybe the PS2 version as well, that it's a bit glitchy and bugged. So, I'll do my best to mitigate that as we go. For now, let's get started. Select a save game to create. I'll just save over my 8% progress one. And I can put an icon on it, whatever I want. Hmm, that would be a good one. Let's go with Sleepy Bear. Has no whites in his eyes, it doesn't matter. He's dressed comfy. Alright, I will try to get everything in the game, so I'll do my best. It's just a float, you scaredy cat. They sure do look happy, don't they, Spyro? Well, it's not every day that a dragon gets his dragonfly. Uh, right, Sparks. So, we meet again, little dragon. I'm back, and I'm stronger than ever! Who are you calling little, Shorty? Nobody invited you. This is an invitation-only party. Very clever, Dragon. You know, you should join me. We would make a great team. What do you want this time, Ripto? Oh, yeah! <laughs> what do we want this time, boss? You're not hired for your brains, you dinosaurian land mass! Keep thinking, and I will send you back to the place I found you. Unemployed in Molten Crater, begging for work from Nasty North. Now, back to what I was saying. Well, what do I want this time? I'm glad that you asked, Purple Pest, and I will be happy to demonstrate. Since I've had enough to do with dragons, I thought, perhaps, Dragonfly. <laughs> well, that wasn't supposed to happen, but... You see, without the power of dragonflies, the dragons are nothing. Soon, the dragon homelands will be mine. <laughs> That little lizard totally stole all the dragonflies. Even Sparks is gone. Spyro, Hunter, oh. don't worry. I think I know where to start. Follow me. Huh, that music felt a little weird and abrupt. <laughs> Sparks! I thought I lost you, pal. Watch your language, kid. That was close, Sparks. Listen, I think I may have figured out a way to catch those dragonflies. Spyro, stand back. I mean, technically, I stood in the same spot. Whoa. What'd you do that for? Drat, that didn't exactly work right. I'm still learning, you know, Spyro. The good news is, I've created a powerful magic that will enable you to use different breath abilities. The bad news is, you're gonna have to find dragon runes to use them, since the spell scattered them in different parts of the dragon realms. Cool! Come on, Sparks! Let's get going! We've got a lot of work ahead of us if we want to find those dragonflies. Do you think we'll ever get a day off? At this point, no. <laughs> I mean, I like to believe that there were, like, a couple days in difference between games. 
It makes it sound like uh, the second game takes immediate takes place immediately after the first game, third after the second, etc., etc. Like Spyro has like no layaway time or like time in between. So of course you move around with the analog stick. Of course that much has not changed. A is your jump. B is your dash. X is your breath. Y is the turn into first person. And if you release, you're back to normal. Holding R checks your inventory. I think L allows the allows you to see what breath you have enabled. And the C buttons or a C stick will rotate the camera for you. What the hell is this? Here, take this dragon rune to the dragon spirit over there. With this rune, he'll be able to combine dragon magic with my magic and grant you bubble breath to catch dragonflies. They're shy and will probably run away from you anytime you come near them. Yeah, the the words are really lagging behind the actual Tap your voice. L button to switch back and forth between fire and bubble breath. Okay, well that's what the L button is for. So that's what you need to look for in some of the levels, the rooms. When you go to that statue... Fire, the magic of this sacred room will bestow upon you the power of bubble breath. When you go to the statue, you will get a new breath. There are mul multiple breaths for you to acquire. The bubble breath does not do damage, though. Bad guys come, they don't try to steal the dragon treasure. They always take more than they can carry and drop it all over the place. Pick it up so we can return it to the dragon elders once we're finished. I can even help. Yeah, as long as you have sparks, he'll pick up the gems for you. Sparks also counts as your health meter, so every time you take a hit, Sparks changes color. Uh, yeah, yeah, just uh, charge into them or use your breath. These pots can be destroyed with fire breath as well. Certain containers that are made out of metal cannot be burned, so you actually have to dash into them. But that's nothing you can't handle, really. I press the Z button, that just takes you to your atlas. So the game total, there's apparently 7,000 gems in the whole game and 90 uh, dragonflies. That's my progress in the dragon realms. And it tells you how many levels there are in the whole game. So it doesn't seem like a lot compared to other Spyro games. But at least you have the option to press the B button to warp to any level. And question marks there on the right page will tell you, like, what dragonflies you found. As I mentioned before, this game can freeze on you sometimes. So depending on what you did, it's a good idea to save your game now and then. You just have to go into the options in order to do it. Okay, if I change the widescreen, it actually doesn't look all that good. Hence, I might turn off later in the game when it starts to get a little cumbersome. If you forget your controls, you can just go to the help menu and there you go. This water is not deep enough to dive into, so can't really do much of that. That there is a dragonfly. So you need the bubble breath in order to uh, catch them. They can be a bit annoying to catch, though, because they like to get away. Hey, it's Coons! I say as I was able to catch that one on the very first try. If you're low on health, by the way, you can find a bunch of animals strewn across the area. And Sparks will eat the butterflies to get health. I so, just said that. Where do you find these butterflies? Oh my god. You just saved a few. Okay, so I'll try to collect whatever gems I can. And I think that way over there leads to the first actual level. So yeah, if you press A in midair, you'll glide. And press A again to get a little bit of a hover. 
The hover will give you a little extra height for the end of your glide. So take advantage of that whenever you can. I should probably switch back to the fire breath. Thank you for being so helpful. You'll run into these gates too. Taylor's big long is by magical energy. I need an ice breath. Which I do not have. So in other words, we can't get everything in the Dragon Realms just yet. We'll need to find, like, more runes that will give us more breath powers later. Hey, it's the bear! What's up? Spyro, I was dreaming of a genie that turned into a nightmare when these horrible Riptox kicked me out of my bed and threw me down this swirly thingy. Maybe the magic of dragonflies will help activate it. Okay, so the more dragonflies you find, the more levels you can enter. I need 25 in order to get into this level. And I believe there's 10 in each stage. For a total of 9 stages, therefore 90 dragonflies. I believe if you kill, like, lots of animals and get lots of butterflies, you'll eventually get an extra life. So even if your health is full, you should try to go after as many dragonflies as you can. Or butterflies as you can. Well, dragonflies too. I'm talking about butterflies. I hope I don't get confused here. Like, seriously. There's Hunter over there. I'll see him later. For now, I'd, let me just tie up some other loose ends. This over there looks very suspicious to me. Like, I feel like it's gonna do something, but it's not right now. Okay, for some reason my Wi-Fi got knocked off my phone and it just reconnected again. That was weird. Luckily I didn't have anything on my phone that would have like used up some data. <laughs> I only have like 3 gigs a month. And you would think that's plenty. But well, most websites just have a lot of stuff that loads and therefore consumes data faster. That's how they get ya. Okay, this looks like it needs Thunder Breath. Or Electric Breath, which is the specific name of that particular ability, which I don't have. Well, I guess in the meantime, I'll go see Hunter, see what he needs. See, there you go. Because I killed so many, or eaten so many butterflies, I was able to get an extra life. Extra lives will definitely be useful in this game. The Spyro games are not known to be completely easy. Hey, Spyro! You know, if you press the A button to jump, then press the A button again in midair, you can glide. Try using your glide to follow me. I mean, I, I already know how, but okay. Look, in the context of this game's world, how would Spyro even know what an A button is? That's not the best kind of immersion. Way to go, Spyro! I think I see something shiny on that ledge over there. You can get there by hovering. To hover. That's the white button at the end of your glide, I know. I mean, technically I was using A at the end. Do they both have the same purpose? Oh, maybe it was why I was supposed to press and not A. Nice work, Spyro! And check this out! I found a dragonfly! Here, why don't you take it? <laughs> hey, it's Bubbles! I'm glad you gave it to me for free. That I didn't have to catch it with bubble breath. Okay, that looks like a challenge gate. Hey, baby. hey Spyro! You found a challenge portal! Each one of these has a dragonfly magically sealed inside. 
If you complete the challenge, it will release the dragonfly. That sounds easy enough, but what's the challenge? What do I have to do? This one is a flame breath challenge. Once activated, eight targets will appear in the area. Find and flame all of them before the time runs out. Activated. How do I activate the portal? I don't see any switches or power buttons. Spyro, you purple putts. All you have to do is walk through the gate to start the challenge. Okay, that dragonfly is as good as free. All right, I gotta make sure that my uh, fire breath actually is activated. Did I? Did it not count? I thought I went through it. You saw me walk through it. What happened? Um. Okay, I guess I'll go through it again. That was uber strange. Let's try that again. You'll find plenty of these like all throughout the world too. Okay, so you got scarecrows to look for. Ah, oh, damn it. That's gonna cost me some time. I see where plenty of them are. Fortunately, a lot of them are just like all throughout the Dragon Realms. I see one there. Will I have enough time? I see one there. Where's the, uh, I did not see where the eighth one was. Unless I skimmed over it the first time. Okay, let's try this again. It is annoying how it just freezes up on ya, or like you get a bit of lag. There. Is there one up here? I just want to see if there was like one up on that ledge. Just wish I could see where all eight of them are. I know where seven of them are, but where's the eighth one? I can just locate where they all are, then I can just draw a path for myself. Oh my god, really? I wouldn't mind, like, doing this kind of jump if I didn't have to go around the long way each and every single time I mess up. Yeah, there isn't one up here. There isn't one in there. No! Oh my god. Press the wrong button. Okay, I think I see where they all are. Go around that way, and then that way, and there you go. Oh, that, that's going to take me like several tries. It's ridiculous. But, I mean, they are challenge portals for a reason. After I complete this challenge, I'm going to save. To avoid frustrating myself to no end. Hmm. 
One thing to note, you can't really, like, uh, dash and flame breath at the same time. Apparently Spyro is terrible at multitasking. Ouch! Damn it. I'm definitely not making this. Unless there's a miracle! Oh, 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 oh. Did I do it? Did it go away while it was burning? Oh, that is so infuriating. Oh, no. Oh, I gotta do it again. Hopefully for the last time. Okay, if we try that one, and then go to this one, that will turn out a lot better. I mean, it's already much better. Look, it's not even orange yet. Did it. That was a great, Spyro! You completed the challenge and released the dragonfly! Jeez. What kind of name is that? I'm gonna burn some sheep out of spite. I like how they turn into racks of lamb when you burn them. Hi. Good work, Spyro. Use the stones to get to the dojo. Remember, Spyro. Find the dragonflies before Ripto. I mean, it's not like it's a race. Oh, wait a minute. Almost overlooked that gem. Alright, we found 224 gems so far. We'll find the rest later. Once we obviously get more breaths. What is water? It's so purple. Just like Spyro. Okay, I was worried about what was going to happen. Hey, Zoe. Oh no, Spyro. It looks like the Riptox have frozen all the Dragon Masters. I guess it's my problem now, is it? You're going to have to use your flame breath to melt the ice and find out what happened here. Uh, okay. I guess that had nothing to do with them being cold. Alright, I'm gonna stop the video here, and in the next part, we'll explore the dra Dragon Dojo. See you everyone, thanks for watching.